A lot of people believe that you can't strengthen your legs with calisthenics only, and they are dead wrong. Now, it is true to say that you don't want to limit yourself to calisthenics, but it's also true to say that you can make a lot of progress with calisthenics alone in building up your strength, and this includes the posterior chain, such as your hamstrings and your glutes. So I highly recommend hamstring curls as a staple in anybody's program, but if the standard body weight hamstring curl variations are starting to get a little bit easy, you can always make them more challenging by doing them on a single leg. One of the nice things about this is that in addition to making them more challenging, they're also going to be more productive for building strength and muscle and also evening out the imbalances that you might have developed between your legs. So this is a really good variation. I like to call this the hip thrust and hamstring curl combo. And as you can see doing, being done here, you're going to need some sort of an elevation in order to do them. Now, the other one to keep in mind is the straight leg hip thrust. And although ordinarily hip thrusts are looked at as focusing primarily on the glutes, in this case, we're actually working on the function of the hamstrings that helps you to extend the hips. This is something that doesn't get focused on a whole lot, again, in the calisthenics world, but even in the weight training world. And this is a nice, well, I wouldn't say easy way per se to start to work on it, but it is a very effective way. And as you can see, it doesn't really require much by way of standard equipment. So give these a shot. Try the two leg version first, if you have not already. Let me know how you like it all. And as always, have fun and happy training.